Hello, prayer warriors. Hello, uh, servants and champions of God. And uh, what a wonderful night we're going to have in prayer. And I want to read you a scripture as we start off. Uh, it was this morning in my, my devotions. Uh, it says, first of all, as 1 Timothy 2, 1. First of all, then, I urge that petitions, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving for be made for everyone, for kings, and for all those that are in authority, so that we may lead a tranquil and quiet life in godliness and dignity. You know, it says to pray for kings and for all those in authority. Uh, it didn't say pray for kings if you voted for them. It didn't say pray for kings if they're of your political persuasion. Uh, pray for the king uh, if um, you like them. He said pray for them. You know, that's, that's the neat thing about prayer. Prayer is without prejudice. Because it says pray for everyone. Friend, foe, stranger, mate, whatever it is, like, don't like, weird, ugly, sinful, blessed. You know, he says to pray for everybody. I just love that. Prayer is non-partial. And that's what we're going to do today. We're just going to pray, and we're going to engage uh, in prayer, and we're going to see where the Lord leads us. So thank you for your faithfulness. Uh, get comfortable in your prayer spot, your journal, your Bible, uh, the music, the lights, whatever you need to do to just focus for the next you know, 40 minutes or so, and let's get into the presence of God, and let's worship Him. So I invite you now uh, to open your mouth, and begin to worship, and begin to praise, and begin to exalt, and begin to lift up, and begin to magnify, and begin to praise God's worthiness, God's holiness, God's greatness, God's majesticness, uh, God's loveliness. Father, we thank you today for who you are to us individually and to us corporately. Thank you today for your many blessings, God. Thank you that there's so many things that you do for us, God, that are just simply sometimes unnoticeable and unrecognizable, God. And we just want to take a few moments, God, just to reflect right now about how good you are. In areas that God may not even be known to us, God, you keep, you watch over, you defend, you protect, oh God. And we're not even aware of what you do for us. Thank you for that covenant. Thank you for that love. Thank you for that mercy. Thank you for that grace. We want to worship you with our lips. We want to worship you with our hands, our heart, and everything within us, giving all glory and all honor and praise to you, God. What a privilege it is to worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. What an honor it is to open our mouth and give you back the breath and the praise and the voice that you've given to us, O oh God. Everything, God, you've blessed us with is, is borrowed from you, O oh God. Unless you gave it to us, O oh God, we wouldn't be able to use it, O oh God. So we just want to thank you. Thank you for your blessings, your provisions. Thank you for everything you've done for us, everything you're doing for us. Thank you, Lord, today. We honor you. We give you preeminence, first place in our lives, O oh God. And we worship you and we adore you. As one who sits on a throne, as one who is almighty, as one who has full authority and full power, as one that has dominion, God, and glory, we worship you, God, as the true and as the living God today, O oh God. Father, we bring our, our petitions, our prayers, we bring our intercession and our thanksgiving before you, O oh God, and we worship you today, God. We pray, Lord, that we would have your mind and we would have your heart and we would have your hands and we would do, have your feet and we have your eyes and we have your ears. We thank you, Lord, that we have your mind to think correctly, O oh God, and to discern, to have knowledge and wisdom 
and insight and innovation and creativity, O oh God. We thank you for we, we possess the mind of Christ, O oh God. We can think God thoughts, God. Our meditations are godly, holy, and righteous. We thank you for your heart, God, that fills what you fills, God, reacts and responds to what you have, O oh God. Our heart is a courageous heart, a compassionate heart, a strong heart, God. We thank you that we have your hands that could be touched and can reach out, O oh God, and can work and, and, and can build, O oh God, and can, and can mend and hands that bring healing, God. We thank you that we have your feet to go where you want us to go, that we are sent by you, O oh God. We have your feet, O oh God. We have your eyes, eyes to see, O oh God, eyes to discern, eyes to reflect, O oh God, eyes, O oh God, that have vision, dreams, eyes that have goals, ambitions, eyes that are focused, O oh God. We thank you that we have your ears, O oh God, ears to hear, O oh God, ears to, ears to listen, ears to learn. Ears to be corrected, chastened, O oh God. We thank you for that in the name of Jesus, God. We thank you that we possess the fruit of the Spirit. All seven fruits are manifest in every aspect of our lives. Love, joy, peace, long-suffering, temperance, faith, meekness, and hope, God. We thank you that we possess all the gifts of the Holy Spirit that they operate in us as you discern, God, or as you will. The working of miracles, the gift of faith, discernment, tongues, interpretation of tongues, prophets, prophecy. We pray, O oh God, for all nine gifts, tongues and interpretation of tongues to flow in us, O oh God. We thank you for your, your gifts, O oh God. We pray, O oh God, that you have blessed us with good health from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet. We speak to every organ, every tissue, the blood, the bone, the bone marrow, the DNA, the immune system, all our vital organs. And we pronounce them whole and blessed, O oh God. And the life of God flows through them, O oh God. We thank you, God, that your grace is sufficient, your supernatural ability to succeed in every aspect of our lives. We thank you for your mercy that flows in us, to us, and through us to others, O oh God. Father, your unmerited favor, your love, God, your extraordinary and uncommon goodness flows through us, O oh God. Thank you for the favor of God that rests on upon us, God favor with man and favor with you, O oh God. We thank you for that, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Father, I thank you that we are extremely focused, persistent, persevering, having patient, patience, O oh God, disciplined and diligent in everything we do, O oh God, in all our responsibilities, in all our commitments, O oh God, in all our obligations, God. We don't waver, we don't wonder, we don't flake out, we don't fruit out, God. We don't abandon, we don't desert. We don't walk away from our assignments, our callings, our purpose, God, and the responsibilities of life that you have given us. We thank you that our lives are a mission, our lives are a ministry, God. And we thank you, Lord, that our lives, God, are a message. So I pray, oh Lord, that we are always on mission, in what you've called us to do. We are always doing ministry in, way, in ways in which you've called us to do. And we always have a message to share, to preach, to pray, and to live out in the name of Jesus God. Father, we pray that we, we live, God. Our, our lives are with the people that you have called us to, the places that you have called us to, the plans and the purposes that you've called us to, God. We know that, God. We know the people you have assigned to us, God. And we will share, connect, give, and be accountable to. We thank you for the places you've called us to, God, that we will be responsible, God, to these places, God. And we will give 
We thank you for the plans and purposes that you have given us through our time, our talents, our treasures, our energy, and our emotions, O oh God. We thank you that we are not confused as to what you called us to do, O oh God. We will not abandon what you called us to do. We pray in every aspect of our lives, we bring multiplication, we bring increase, God. We bring added value, we bring influence, O oh God not for our self-glory or self-glorification, God, but for your glory, God, and your gratification. So we thank you, God, that everything we do, God, gets better. Everything we're involved in increases and multiplies, and, and addition takes place, oh God. We pray that we are outstanding employees and outstanding employers, oh God. The greatest untapped evangelistic witnessing place God is our work God father we thank you Lord that our work would not be burdensome our work would not be toil father you would give us rest you'd give us strength you give us peace you'd give us innovation creativity you'd give us wisdom you give us relational skills you give us competency you'd give us the character God you give us hard workingness God we thank you, Lord, that we take advantage of opportunities, oh God. We are faithful, we are loyal, we are dedicated, we are committed, God. We pray, Lord, that we would be outstanding employees, oh God, and outstanding employers, oh God. We pray, oh Lord, that we would be a light on our jobs and we would be the salt on our jobs, oh God. And wherever you send us, God, into this world, we would be a light, a beacon of hope, a light, God, that is attractive, O oh God, a light that dispels darkness, O oh God, a light that brings warmth and comfort, O oh God, a light that is a directional post, God, a, a compass, O oh God, a target, God. We pray that we are the salt, God, that preserves, that protects, O oh God. We are the salt of this world, O oh God. Let us not lose our flavor, our saltiness. Let us not grow dim in our light, O oh God. To be a strong witness for you, a strong representation of you, O oh God. We pray in the name of Jesus, God, for our light to burn brighter and the salt to become stronger, God, in everything that we do, O oh God. We thank you for that tranquility that we walk in. We thank you for that rest that we walk in. We thank you for that peace that we walk in. We thank you for an undisturbed mind, O oh God. We are not given to fear. We are not given to worry. We are not given to anxiety. We cast all our cares upon you. We do not struggle through stress, God. We have the peace of God. We have the joy of the Lord. We have the rest of God. I pray, Lord, that we have restful nights of sleep, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, free from tossing and turning, O oh God. Our minds have perfect peace, O oh God. Father, that we trust you. We believe your word to be true. We have confidence in thee. We have full assurance in thee, O oh God, and we rely upon thee and we acknowledge thee in all areas of our lives because we do these things, God. We can be at peace, God, in the name of Jesus. Make us very purposeful in these last days, God, that we are not living a life of mediocrity, a life of lethargicness, a life of passivity, God, a life of apostasy, O oh God. We thank you that we do not conform to this world. We thank you, Lord, that we do not compromise in the things of God. We thank you, God, in the name of Jesus, God, that everything, everything we do, God, we bear fruit. And we bear much fruit, God, to bring glory to you, O oh God. We pray, Lord, that our altar calls all around this world are filled with lost souls. We pray that there's great conviction of sin and darkness and evil in people's lives, O oh God. We thank you, Lord, for a greater consciousness of right from wrong, God. We thank you for a greater level and a deeper level of repentance, brokenness, sadness, and sorrow 
over sin, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. We pray for radical deliverance, O oh God, from every form of bondage, obsession, addiction, and vice, every demonic activity, deliverance. We pray for salvation to come, God. May people be rescued, God, from their sin, translated into the kingdom of darkness, it's translated from the kingdom of darkness into his marvelous light. We pray in the name of Jesus, greater measures, greater measures of salvation, healings, and deliverances, O oh God. We thank you in the name of Jesus for your power. We thank you for your provisions. We thank you for your pre pre presence. We thank you for your manifestations. We thank you, God, for your actions, your activities all around this world, O oh God. You are manifesting your power. You're manifesting your activities. You're manifesting your plots and your plans, O oh God. You're manifesting your will and your ways, O oh God. Father, more, 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 more of your presence, God. More of your presence, O oh God. God, bless all the mediums, all the agencies, O oh God. All the, all the methods, O oh God, all the streams, all the company, companies, all the ministries, O oh God, that promote the gospel, that preach the gospel, God, that fund the gospel, God. We pray in the name of Jesus that your word is going forth into, the, into every man's world, God. Your word is going forth into all the, the over 200 countries of this world, O oh God. We thank you in the name of Jesus, God. It is not returning void, but a prosper that which you've sent into it. The word of God, the word of God, the word of God, the word of God. Father, thank you, Lord, for the word of God. That when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him, God. Thank you for opening doors for the gospel to be preached, O oh God removing all the barriers, the limitations, the obstacles, the hindrances that would stop the promoting and preaching of the word, O oh God, unhampered and, unhampered and unhindered, God. May the gospel go forth in these last days in communist nations, O oh God, in atheistic nations, in persecuted nations, O oh God. in Muslim nations, O oh God, in Buddhist nations, O oh God. We pray the gospel is going forth. Believers are being protected and preserved, O oh God. Churches are arising, O oh God. The ways in which the gospel is preached is increased, God. The volume is increased, O oh God. We thank you, Lord, today. Thank you for funding the last day gospel in the name of Jesus, God. Thank you for people, God, that will give with generosity, O oh God. Thank you for big money, philanthropy, God, big donors to come, God. Thank you for an unleashing, an onslaught of the floodgates opening with wealth, God, to come into the lives of people so that they could give and fund the last day gospel, God. We pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, God, that whatever the devil's doing, wherever the devil is active, God, where the devil is manifesting, God, we pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus, by your power and by your glory, God, you would stop it, arrest it, O oh God, expose it, O oh God. May a break, breaking forth and a breaking through take place in the demonic realm against the devil and every one of the principalities, powers and rulers, darkness of this world, and spiritual wickedness in that in high place, that become uneffective, God, unaffected what they're doing, God. They, they, they're, they're not effective, God. They're rendered helpless, hopeless, and ineffective, God, in the name of Jesus, God. Thank you for new things you are doing in the church and in the body of Christ. We are open to those. Thank you, Lord. Thank you that your grace is sufficient, God. No matter what difficulty, no matter what hardship, no matter what uncomfortability is in our lives, we thank you that your grace is sufficient. May we rest heavily 
upon you, O God. May you be more than just simply a belief, O God. But may you be real to us, O God. May we value our time and our fellowship that we spend with you, God. May it become much more meaningful and impactful, God, in our lives. God, lead us. Be the, may, may we not be making decisions and choices outside of you, God. Lead us. Lead us in the right choices. Lead us in the right decisions that we need to be making, God. Father, be involved in every aspect of our lives. Keep us, keep us from wrong decisions, bad decisions, bad relationships. God, bad, bad involvement, bad, bad compulsions, bad activities, bad, bad habits, God. Oh, Father, we pray in the name of Jesus, God, that Patria continues to walk in your favor, God. I thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in the midst of us. We don't want to take it for granted. We cover every program, every ministry, every endeavor, and every service of Patria. We cover it with your prayers. We cover it in prayer. 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 We covet it in prayer. We pray. We pray over the church. Patria, we pray over Patria. We pray over Patria, God. In the name of Jesus, shut off the weapons of the enemy. Cancel the weapons of the enemy. God, expose the traps. May they not be able. The traps of the enemy, God, may they not be prevail. May they not prevail, God, against leadership, against laity, O oh God, against the vision, against the house, God. Intersect, God, and intervene on our behalf, O oh God. We rebuke, we bind the devil in the name of Jesus. And Father, every, every plot, every plan, every strategy, every while, and every device against Patria, we bind it and we rebuke it and we oppose it in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. It will come to not. It will come to not, God. It will come to not not going to prevail, not going to win, not going to succeed, oh God. We pray, oh Father. God, we're dealing with um, Riverside Architectural Firm, God, for the renovation of our field, for our school. An AstroTurf football field and soccer field, God. And Father, they're not being too nice to us right now, God. And they're not being compliant to us, oh God. They're being absolutely um, unrealistic. I don't know everything, but you know everything, God. I don't know what needs to be resolved. I don't know what needs to be ministered to. I don't know what needs to be done, but I ask you, God. We ask you, God. The owner, God, the architects, oh God, we lift them up to you, God. Father, in Jesus' name, you said the heart of the king is in your hand and you turn it so whether, whether way you will, God. If you kept Nebuchadnezzar up all night, God, then do what you got to do, God, so that these plans these change orders on these plans could be rectified so that we could submit them to the city, God. And then may the city approve everything and there be not be any more delay, God. No more delays, God, in Jesus' name. We need your favor in the courtyard experience that we're doing out there, rebuilding it. We need your favor, God, in renovation of across the street, our administrative building. We need your favor, God, in our old administration building, building out 12 classrooms. We need your favor, God, in our parking lot, God, in creating more space, God, for people to park. We need your favor, God, with more property to buy uh, to expand our school campus. We need your favor, God, for our next location of a campus, God whether that be Victorville, 
East LA, LA, wherever it might be, God. We ask you for favor, God. God, we need your favor in every endeavor, God, in every program, in every activity, oh God. We need your favor, God, to bring in money to fund all these programs, God. These things are multi-million dollar projects, God. Father, I pray, Lord, whatever you're going to do, God, to pay it off, to bring it in. I pray that we are a debt-free ministry, God, that, we're, that all our debt, God, is being paid off in the name of Jesus so that we have uh, liquid cash and money and income to do some of these other areas, oh God. Father, we pray. We pray, Lord, that you would preserve and protect the staff. God, that they would not grow weary in well-doing, that they would see this as not just a job, they'd see it as a calling, God, and may they be faithful. We pray for new hires, God, new strategic hires, God, that would come alongside the vision, God, and push it forward in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray, Lord, for Pastor Aaron, who's the campus pastor, and Erica, bless them with their three daughters, O oh God. We pray for Pastor Nathan and Sanaz and their two sons. Bless them as the executive pastor. Bless Pastor Adam, God, as the lead pastor, God. Give him vision, God. Give him your heart, God. Give him relationships. Give him ideas. Protect his gift and protect his calling, O oh God. Help him, God, to follow you in leading this church into its future, God, into the next 30 years, God. We pray, Father, for the welfare and the well-being of every member, God. We pray, Lord, for their homes, their jobs, their health, their marriages, their children, God. Watch over and keep them, God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you that we have favor with our police. We have favor with our fire department. We have favor with our politicians, God. We have favor, God, wherever we go, that we walk in, God, as a church, God. We thank you, Lord, for, for blessing our music department, God. Bring us uh, more musicians. Bring us more praise and worship leaders, more praise and worship singers, God. Pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus for the vision, God, of the wedding feast music to grow. Bless our children's church, God, with innovative staff, God, volunteers, oh God. We want to remodel our, our, our children's church, God. It's old, God. It's, it's 17 plus years old. We need money to do that. We want to remodel our youth department. God, we need money to do that, God. We need money, God, to bless Corona, to buy land or to build a building or buy a building, God, our Corona campus. Bless Pomona, God, and the church and keep it healthy and keep it strong. And bless our campus pastors, God, Steve and Dolores, God, minister to them. We pray that you would bless the worship in the house. You'd bless the prayer in the house. You bless the preaching of the word in the house, God. We pray that we draw near to you, God. We need, we need your favor. We need your blessing, God. Father, we can't do it and we can't make it without you. We're scared to try to do it without you. Just like Moses, if your glory, if your presence doesn't go before us, then leave us right here, oh God. Father, thank you for the anointing, the anointing, the anointing. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. Father, we can't do your bidding, God. We cannot if it's not for the anointing, God. May the power and presence of God rest upon this house and rest upon our lives, O oh God, to set the captives free, O oh God, to minister to the brokenhearted that truth might come forward oh god we pray for the anointing the anointing the anointing of god to break <clears throat> to break shackles god
Lord, we pray for the movements of God, the manifestations of God, and the activities of God to flow bountifully, God, to flow abundantly, O oh God, and to flow in, in, in greater measures, O oh God. Father, break down all the barriers of the devil, all the hindrances of the devil, all the opposition of the devil, all the obstacles of the devil. Father, tear them down in Jesus' name. Everything that is restrictive uh, that the devil is doing, O oh God, may there not be any life, no prosperity, no success in the devil's activity, O oh God. Father, all the, all the evil, all the wicked, all the perverse, all the ungodly, and all the sin that's in this world that's planned and plotted, God, and God scrutinized, O oh God. Stop it, halt it. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus. We pray in the name of Jesus, God. We pray in the name of Jesus, God. Intervene, 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 O oh God. Arrest the enemy in his activity, God. Cause confusion to come in the camp of the enemy, O oh God. Father, I thank you. I thank you, God, that as, as your people, as your people sell out to you and live a consecrated life, God, fully committed to you, God, uncompromising that you will promote them and you will honor them, God. And they will have a voice of influence in our culture and in our society that is so driven by and, and influenced by and heard by ungodly examples, God. Where our children are following, oh God. Would you promote and raise up whether they are from an athletic background, an entertainment background, a singing background, a movie industry, oh God, uh, the business marketplace leadership, oh God. Truly, truly God, these persevering saints, oh God, that have denounced the devil, they couldn't, they couldn't be bought, they overcame the temptation to compromise. In all these fields, God, of industry, oh God, I sense a promotion coming and, and, and a God honoring and a hedge of protection to preserve against the naysayers and the evil doers and the spiritual assassins shut it off elevate their pulpits elevate their pulpits God in a world that shuts them off in a world that says do this but you can't say you're a Christian you can't wear Christian jewelry, uh, you, you can't talk about Jesus, you can't wait. I thank you, God, that you're going to open this window and you're going to open this door, God, where the media, the negative media, God, and the influencers can't say anything. They, they have nothing to say. It, it, it has grown too powerful that if they try to cancel it, yes, if they try to cancel it, God, it would be detrimental because they're not fighting against man. They're fighting against you. Oh, Lord, breathe on it, breathe on it, breathe on it, breathe on it, breathe on it. As evil has been elevated and as evil has been promoted, God. 
you're going to promote righteousness, God. Thank you, Lord. Have a voice, God. I, I pray your voice of what that looks like, how you're going to express it, how you're going to speak it out, God, how you're going to do it. Carries a greater, greater volume and a greater noise than the evil voices that are in this world, oh God. God, just cancel that. Shut it down, God. Everything that is anti-Jesus, anti-Christ, ungodly and wicked, shut it down, God. Stop it from being popular. Stop it from advancing, God. Stop the money flow that comes its way. Shut it off, God. I pray, Lord, against it. I pray for those involved in it to be saved. I pray for those involved in it, God, uh, to be removed if they don't get saved, oh God. I pray for the funding of evil to be shut off, God, in the name of Jesus, God. Shut it off, God. Shut the funding off. Shut the funding off. The funding of, of alcoholism, drug addiction, uh, promiscuity, prostitution, porn, sex slave industry, oh God. Uh, all the funding, God, bringing agendas into the school systems, God, promoting ungodly lives. Shut off all the funding, God, where, where these children are bombarded with social media, advertisement, commercials, programs, TV, movies, shut it all off. Just shut the funding off, oh God. Create a generation, oh God, that have been, yes, set aside, sanctified, untainted, oh God, that carry the anointing of God. I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the five-fold ministry operating as the feeding agency, as the protection agency, as the supernatural provisions of God to the prophets that, that see, O oh God, and the prophets that pronounce things, O oh God, and the apostles that establish things, O oh God, and the pastor that shepherd things, O oh God, and the teachers that explain things, O oh God, and the evangelist, O oh God, that bring deliverance and salvation, God. Oh, Lord. Just crank it up, oh God. The noise of, of, of a righteous sound, a righteous sound, a righteous sound, a righteous sound, a righteous sound in these last days, oh God. Crank, crank it up and then turn it down, the evil. Just intervene, God. Intervene in every activity of Satan, God. Known and unknown. Public and private. No matter who it is, God. From the rich to the famous, God to the powerful, to the prestigious, oh God. In the name of Jesus, may we be a people, may we be a church that cannot be bought. We'll not bow our knee to the noise like in Daniel's days, the sounds in Babylon, God. We will not bow our knee, God. In Jesus' name, sold out, sanctified, purified, glorified, redeemed, holy, righteous, purged, pruned, separated, redeemed, righteous, 
is what you're looking for, God, is what you need, O oh God, is what you want, O oh God. A church without spot or wrinkle, God. We pray, we pray, visit our world, O oh God. Visit our world, O oh God, with all your manifestations, your activity and your presence, O oh God in a greater measure, God. Stir people up, stir them to righteousness, stir them to holiness, stir them to purity, stir them to obedience, stir them, God. Help every one of us influence the people, God, that we have relationships with, the stages, the platforms. Use every one of us, God, to make an impact and make a difference for your glory. May we be called to stand out and not blend in, oh God. May we not be lukewarm. Lukewarm Christianity, lukewarm Christians, God. Stir it up in the Holy Ghost, God. That's why we've got to pray more than we've ever prayed before. Because if we don't, God will become lukewarm. Just okay, just average, oh God. Stir it up in the Holy Ghost. Let the fire of God fall upon us, oh God. Stir the murky waters away, oh God. Father, we pray, oh God, and pray, oh God. All the dross be stirred out of us, oh God. All the wheat be stirred out of us, O oh God. All the straw be stirred out of us. May we be strong, strong in this hour, God. Very, very strong in spirit. Strong, very fortified, very dangerous against the kingdom of darkness. Capable, able. Bold, valiant, vigilant, victorious, strong, strong, strong to influence our world, God. To take back what the devil's stolen. To not let the enemy win. Whether it is poverty, sickness, violence, whatever it is, God. We won't tolerate it. It's not acceptable. Not on our watch. It's not the will of the Lord. And we rebuke that in Jesus' name. So stirred. So stirred. Create in us a clean heart. Renew in us a right spirit. Let that happen, God. For your glory and for your honor, God. Because one day we will stand before you, God. Soon and very soon. And we want to be pleasing to you. <sighs> Hallelujah. <sighs> Majesty. Worship. His majesty. He is our King. He is our Lord. He is majesty. He rules and He reigns with authority, power and dominion. Majesty, kingdom authority. We honor you, God. We honor you. In Jesus' name, amen. God love you. God bless you. And we'll see you next week.